All right, Shalom. We're the Hebrew Israelites. I hear once again the prophet of total destruction and downfall of America, aka Rome, aka Babylon, aka Egypt, aka Greece, aka Sodom and Gomorrah. All the nicknames in the Bible give you uh, referring to this land known as America. First of all, I want to give all praises to you. How about Shimmy Abishai? Double honors to the apostles, elders, the great millstone, and much love to all your little brothers out there that's pushing the truth across the four corners of the globe. As you see, we have people lined up along the sidewalk, fighting for, uh, what, pro-life, cho choosing against abortion. Okay, we all know that abortion is wrong, but who was the first one to commit abortion or to kill babies? The so-called white people. Point blank period. See what I'm saying? Because how, how how we know this? Look at our history of the Spaniards, the conquistadors, who were those so-called white people? See what I'm saying? They conquered the lands where Native Americans, the Latinos, and the Negroes dwelt. Doing what? Carving their babies out of their stomachs and stomping them out. Taking the babies and dashing them up against walls. See what I'm saying? Cutting women breasts off and using them as football. That's where you get football from. See what I'm saying? Cutting their heads off, kicking them in the street. That's where you get soccer from. See what I'm saying? So the first people to commit abortion were who? White people. But then, it only becomes a problem when it affects their community. As long as it stays with the Negro, Latino, Native American, there's no problem. Because why? Abortion was set up to kill and destroy who? You Israelites. You Negro, Latino, Native American. Funded by who? The fake Jews. But who is the head of abortion? Or Planned Parenthood? Margaret Sanger, which is a so-called so white person, who's funded by who? The fake Jews. See what I'm saying? So abortion is meant for what? You Negro, Latino, Native American to kill your child. What you got? Give me Jeremiah 1 and uh, start at verse 5. This is why abortion is, is so important not to kill your children. See what I'm saying? Especially you Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans. Yeah, Jeremiah, I want to start at five. Jeremiah chapter one, verse five. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. See, before the Lord formed that seed that came from your father's nutsack and went into your, your mother's egg and formed the womb, the Lord said he knew you before that would even happen. Go ahead, bro. And before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. See, before your mother gave conception of you or gave birth to you, that means what? The Lord said he sanctified you. He knew you before you even knew yourself, before right. you was formed. That's why it's important not to kill your children. That's why abortion is against the word of the Heavenly Father. Why? Because you, you people are killing prophets of the Lord. Mainly you Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans. See what I'm saying? That's why the Lord is against abortion. And then two, the head of abortion, you fake Jews, you Amalekites, you're trying to play the role of God yourself. You're trying to determine who lives or who dies. That's not your job. That's right. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Uh, I sanctify thee, and I ordain thee, a prophet unto the nation. See, the Lord ordained you to be a prophet unto the nation, you Negroes, Latino, and Native American. That's why it's so important for you to stop killing your kids. That's right. See what I'm saying? Because why? You're killing one of the prophets of the Lord. And the Lord is angry at that. Right. The Lord is angry with America. That's why the Lord is going to kill all you people here in America that's committing sin. He's going to destroy America with thermonuclear fire, including you. Why are you looking over here? He's going to destroy you and your wife. Blow both of your arms off with thermonuclear fire. And Russia going to be the first one to shoot missiles over here and destroy y'all. Why? Because you defy this land. You tear everything up over here. You defy the water, the air, the trees, the food. That's why it's meant for you to be destroyed by the Heavenly Father and His Son. You how about shooting me out with shot? You devils got to go, man. You right. white people got to go. You got to die. Because you done messed this world up. You got to be weak, wicked to destroy the food, water, and air. The, the things you need to survive and live off of, you destroy that. So the Lord is going to destroy y'all. 
What you got, bro? Galatians. If you don't agree with what we're saying, come up here and prove us wrong. Do the best you can to prove us wrong. And I guarantee you won't. Galatians chapter 1, verse 15. But when it, when it pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace. See, it pleased the Lord to separate us from my mother's womb and do what? Uh, and call me by his grace. Now how did the Lord call you by his grace? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Bible right here. That's, right. That's how the Lord called you by his grace. But it's only for who? You Israelites. It's not for you heathens. You heathens are going to die. You think everything funny? The Lord may kill y'all in that truck right now. You think everything funny? This ain't funny. Y'all the one that messed this world up. And the Lord going to destroy y'all for that. Right. Point blank, period. We ain't playing no game with you folks. Especially you white people. We're not playing games with y'all. Well, get out the truck and do something. That's what I thought. That's why the Lord going to kill y'all, man. Lord ain't playing no game with you folks out here, man. Y'all think everything is funny. I want the scripture tell you folly is set in great dignity. That's right. Now, what you got, bro? You think we scared of you people out here? We not. We sent out here by the Heavenly Father and the Son to preach His word to this God-forsaken nation. See what I'm saying? The Lord is going to destroy this kingdom. Point blank, period. He's going to send America down quick, fast, in a, a, a hurry. Like they said, send them to hell in a hand basket. What you got? That, that was it on that one. I'm trying to find where I got. I got scriptures on abortion. I can't seem to find them right, right now. Psalm 127, verse 3. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord. See? The scripture said the children are an inheritance of the Lord. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. See, the fruit, meaning your children being born, is a reward of what? A fruit of his reward. See, it's the fruit of your reward. So, so when you have children, that's a blessing from the Lord. See what I'm saying? Why? To carry on your name, carry on your heritage and your, your legacy. See what I'm saying? That's what keep the nation of Israel flowing and keep it going, is when we have children. But when you kill your child, that cuts off the lineage. 